So we need to get our rough floor to floor from where the stair starts to where the stair finishes. And by far the easiest way to do that is using a laser level. You see we're projecting a level line already here at about this height. So I can quite easily measure down here from my landing and find my laser line. And that laser line is at 59 and 3 quarter inches. And I'm going to write that down in my book so I don't forget it. Let's start a new page for this job. Then I can go to where my stair starts and I can measure up from the floor. And here I get 39 and 7 eighths inches. One tool I forgot to mention, which is probably the other most important tool other than your tape measure for building stairs is a construction master calculator, a foot inch calculator. As far as I know, this is the only foot inch calculator which uh, will really work for uh, stair calculations. And I'm going to give you a whole series of keystrokes which will enable you to lay your stair out very accurately. So the first thing we do is we add our distance from the second floor down and from the first floor up to get our rough floor to floor. I'm going to push the clear key a few times to make sure there's nothing in the calculator's memory. Then I'll go 5, 9, inch, 3, slash, 4, 59 and 3 quarter inches, plus 3, 9, inch, 7, slash, 8, equals 99 and 5 eighths. That's my rough floor to floor. Okay, now we know that 99 and 5 eighths inches is our rough floor to floor. Can we just divide that by the number of risers and that'll give us our finish net rise? No. We have to know a few other things. We have to go to the architect or the owner and find out what is the thickness of the finished floor downstairs? What's the thickness of the finished floor upstairs? Then we can find out what our finished floor to floor is. Let's say that this gets three quarter inch tongue and groove. So we can add three quarters to 99 and 5 eighths. We just go plus three slash four equals. What about this floor? Let's say we have uh, two inches of uh, mud and uh, three quarters of an inch of Mexican tile. Well, let's say we have uh, something we see very often, which is half an inch of hydronic board and three quarters inch of floor. This floor now is coming up half plus three quarters. That's an inch and a quarter. So we have to deduct an inch and a quarter from the rough floor to floor to get the finished floor to floor. All I do is I go minus one inch one slash four equals. Our finished floor to floor is 99 and one eighth. I'm going to write that in my book. 99 and one eighth fin floor to floor. That's a very important dimension.